Alrighty, hello everyone, and welcome to... What the hell is that? Okay, something went terribly wrong, something went terribly wrong. Um, okay, let's put that away. Um, <laughs> was you beyond that? Uh, welcome everyone to um, the season finale of AF3 Season 11. And what a decent season it's been. Um, it's been one of... Action, good racing, some awesome liveries as usual, and some awesome drivers, and still a team's championship battle still all to play for. With Josh Brooks currently on provisional pole and Ali Young actually just going through to put himself into P2 and Jack Olivia taking it right back to put himself back into P2. We have a three-way fight for um, the title between Polaris, Maka and River. 259 points is what Polaris is sitting on, currently at the top of the table. Right behind them, Maka Racing Olivier, so Jack Olivier and his dad sitting on 250 points in P2. And River Racing in third place with 225 points. Although, the likelihood is, is it will go the way of... If we have Nemanja here... Is Nemanja? Nemanja is indeed here. If we have... We've got both Ali and Amanya on the grid today, racing for Polaris, of course, and a double showing from River. So what we're going to have to hope for is, or what well, River are going to have to hope for, not the players, very not the players, um, is for River to score very highly in both races and pray for the absolute worst uh, for Polaris. Because as it stands, and as you can probably see, there's not an awful lot of drivers on the grid. So, you still, even if you're finishing at the very bottom in 11th, you're still going to be scoring a couple points. So, River are going to have to hope for something monumental, and they really are going to have to start hoping, because Nemanja goes through to set a, the first 118 of the day. I didn't see any 118s in practice. People got bloody close, but that is Nemanja going through to set... A 189, a stunning lap there, and blowing everyone else out of the water for the time being. Josh Brooks just under a tenth behind still, so it's very much still game on here. We're going to go with Josh Brooks as Beavos' teammate uh, mowing the lawn to the side of him. Avenisto though, very challenging track. Been here once before with the Porsche Caymans. Demise in Karna. Uh, it was back then. We'll see if we see a repeat of that. But I believe with a very let's, just, let's call it cultivated. We'll call it small, uh, a cultivated grid today. A premium crop of AF drivers. Um, we'll see how they do on this track. Although with front-wheel drive cars, the narrowness, the tightness of this track. Just watching this on board, we're being reminded of just how technical and tight Avenisto is of a circuit. Um, we could very well see uh, the fair share of demise that this track has been known to provide. Interesting last corner here as well, you have to take it a completely perfect line to make it. Josh going right out to the edge. Take the tightest line possible. Is he on a good lap? That is the question. Well, it might not be a very great lap after that little lock up there, but he's going to finish it anyways. Neither of his first two seconds being anything of note, but will he be able to bring it back in the last? No improvement there for Josh. However, he comes up over the crest. We'll follow him from the lap here. Comes over the crest, down into the dip, downhill braking there. You want to get it just right, hook it nicely in before the bridge. You can see all the tire marks from the screech to a halt here. Nice tight little turn there, turn four. Around to another tight technical turn, turn three. And on to the S's of six, seven, eight, and nine. It just keeps on going. Love the layout here. Josh Brooks falls, however, in the meantime, down to the third. Nemanja Povich and Ali Archer now getting their way up into the 118s. A 118.7 for Popovich and uh, an 89. Yeah, pretty much an 89 for the Yardmanshire at the moment. Very close there at the top. I mean, with this small grid size, it all just compresses down, really. Um, 
and you see the top five separated by just about three tenths or so. Close, close stuff. As always here with four minutes left to go in this session. Josh Brooks again, that corner. T12, the bane of his existence for the time being. Will he see any improvement on this lap? He's in a purple middle sector. No improvements. As a matter of fact, that last lap, actually a 192. Not far off, but just not quite able to nail it. And I am not using any track cameras today, as uh, this is what they look like. Great, I know. Really great. <laughs> the track camera's absolutely fucked here with the AI line, I believe, munted. Josh Brooks on his front bumper here for a minute. Green in the first sector, bumping off the barrier there in the in the second sector. Comes around one of the tightest probably the tightest of the whole circuit to turn nine. Second sector is not showing up for me yet, but he could be onto a decent lap here at the moment. Comes around the, one of the penultimate corners. And will he mess it up again here? No, he keeps the rear end under control. Little puff of smoke, but all's well. Comes around the final bend, easy on the thrust so as not to understeer out. Perfect flipping there on the exit. Will he be able to improve? And he does not teleporting right back to pits right before the end of this lap. Jack Levy in the meanwhile, starting a fresh lap. No improvements yet for him. His delta is actually accurate, so you can follow the little green thing in the bottom left. Pretty much exactly on his delta for the time being, using every inch of track. In the final race now for the Cooper Leon. Wonderful car. Absolutely love seeing these things go around the season. Of quality from the driving machine. I believe that was Togwa and Ben Hayes swapping places. Or should I say Ben and Ben Hayes? His Arab brother is now racing. Very well ahead. Jack gaining time there for a split second, but just about losing it. The Delta is so tantalizingly close to improvement, but just, just edging away back from it. And he does not get a good run onto the long, long back curve. It's not even really a straight, is it? Locking up, losing a lot of speed, going quite deep there, and that is not really much left, lap, lap left to salvage. The order at the top remains unaltered at the moment though. Jack pulls off potentially no more time left in this quality session for him to set anything up. No, the manual with a 1.18.6. Absolutely flying. Do not know how we're ever going to contend with this. We've got a 1-2 for Polaris right here. The team championship could be very well in their hands. Jack would need to pull off quite the performance to pull this one in the favour of Marco and Polaris would have to have quite a shocking multiple potentially Polaris moments <laughs> in order to fumble this one. The Mania almost actually as quick if not quicker on this lap. Very refined driving really knows the ins and outs of this car and seems to really be confident on this track and that may have been a cut right there if not I guess the lap, there's still a lap to be had absolutely inch perfect there on that final straight and through the last corner gains a bit of time but then loses some is he going to be able to gain it back through this last turn looks like he might not. He's going to be bloody close. He's still, that lap is still be good enough for pole, but he set a quicker one anyways. Coming around in 11th at the moment. Got Citra. Not really on any significant laps at the moment. Ben Hayes, maybe on a good lap. Comes through does improve but by thousands I believe Ali actually on a not really on a lap anymore 
Chris. Chris on a lap, question mark. Not really a good one, but he's going to finish it anyways. Really not his circuit potentially. Tenth, even with a small grid size, really not. The place where he has been in the latter half of the season, he's really been impressing lately. And maybe Avanisto just proving a little bit, a little bit too too far of a challenge for the Albanian. There you have it, Quali finished. People pointed this out. People m mentioned they noticed my silences. They're like, "Yeah, Maddie, we know you like you went for three minutes to like eat." I'm always fucking munching on the stream, guys. You know me. <laughs> Gotta stay. Gotta stay prepped and ready to give you this amazing streaming content. Like, you know, what would I be if I wasn't giving you high quality streams week in, week out? We're gonna take you through the grid real quick. Not a big one, but it's a grid nonetheless. Starting from pole, Nemanja Popovic, ready to headline the title defense, or the, like, the title fight here for Polaris. Followed closely behind, the best probably qualifying of the year, right when it counts, Ali Ardenshirt starting on second, behind his teammate, one, two for Polaris Motorsports. Starting from third, Josh Brooks, first of the River Racing drivers. Starting in fourth, Jack Olivier. Starting in sixth place, Togo Potobo, followed by Ben Hayes in sorry, Togo Potobo fifth, Ben Hayes sixth, followed by Lucas Boyshall in seventh place. Vivos in eighth will really need to get up there to actually have a chance of doing anything for River. Mario Weigel starts ninth, followed by Simchris in tenth, and rounding out the back of the grid, we have Citra in eleventh place. We're gonna get this camera angle because again, track cameras are forked, mate. Let's see how the spectators would see it. 30 seconds till the lights go out here. At Avenisto. <laughs> Lovely to be back here. I fucking love this track. You really feel like you're in Finland. Um, <laughs> look at the beauty. Beautiful nature. You feel like you're really there. Anyways, <laughs> I'm, being, I'm being a dumbass. Um... <laughs> The lights are there, and we wait for them now to go out. One, two, three, four, five, and six for the last time this season. And away we go for race one. Very uneven starts there. Seems both Polaris Motorsports drivers getting really, really poor starts there. Almost five wide going into the first corner. Nemanja comes across to the fair. We've got three wide into the first corner. Nemanja comes out on top, but that's Josh in second. Lucas Boyshaw goes wide in the background, but that's everyone through safe. We're going to follow it like this because this, might, this may very well be the best way to follow it. And here they all come. Nemanja still leads. Josh Brooks now fending off Jack Levy, but will it be of any avail? Jack Levy now in up into second place, starting from fourth. Ali Adams drops down to fourth. Josh Brooks up to third for the time being. Citra up into eighth, one of the biggest movers so far. But Lucas Boyshall and Mario Weigel, big sufferers so far. Ali Armstrong as well, losing his second place start. Vivov's up to sixth, however, as well. We are very much racing here. Everyone away cleanly. Pretty much no RC needed in this race. Chances having a four car incident in an 11 car race are slim to none. But Nemanja's needs to start building up the gap here. He knows he's got the pace. Just needs to keep a level head and bring on the heat. Vivos, not far behind Sogo, but over here. We're going to follow him on board just for a little bit. Just get a bird's eye view here of a racing lap at Avenista. So, ending the first lap, nice and short lap we have here for the Finnish AF3 GP season finale. And Ali Armcher, very, very close now to the back of Josh Brooks, looking to take back some of what he lost at the first corner amidst all the chaos. But Nemanja getting away for the time being. Hard to overtake here. 
very, very hard to set up a move. Bivolf's getting all crossed up coming into T1 that remains on the track. Citra and Lucas Boischel in battle at the moment. Citra taking back eighth, it seems. Lucas forced to go deep, go wide. And that puts Ben potentially in an advantage there for the time being. Ben falls down to 11th, however. Mario Weigel taking the position. Then seemingly in all of the FAT Sim Racing affiliated teams all the way down there in 11th. But this top five maintaining very, very, very close to one another. All just bunching up, really. I mean, the Magna's the only one who's really getting away at the moment, but uh, Josh and Ali bunching up behind Jack Olivier for the time being. Jack not really showing any crazy pace. You've really got to bide your time, mate. Really, really got to telegraph, build up, follow through other drivers and build up those moves to make them some point like a lap later or maybe half a lap later. Very, very tough track here, tough customer. Half the battle is just getting yourself around the track, to be completely honest. And we enter lap three of 18 here. Fastest lap from the top runners goes to Jack Olivier on that occasion, making some small inroads there on Nemanja, but obviously nowhere near enough to be close to a move. Togba starting to relinquish um, this upper group. Aliard, which is still very Mac on the Mac, very much on the back of Josh Brooks. Top four still close as you like. Further back, do we have anything really going on? Lucas Boyshaw looking to get something off of Citra, eighth place, namely, and he's right on the back of him, coming up to T8. Almost does a punt him, and the punt does occur, turns Citra right round. That's gonna put Citra to the back. Not the best thought out maneuver there from the German. And that is TCR facing backwards, out of the back of the field. Lucas up to eighth. But will it really stand up firm in the post-race reports? Meanwhile, top four still, as I said before, close as you like. Should I just keep saying I'll make that the, um, the running beam of the stream. So close. Josh, right on the tail of Jack. You know. Really starting to go under pressure. Three tenths now only the gap between the two of them. And Josh is starting to like be on his bumper into the braking zone. Let's go for some F5 action here. Trying to go for that sharper line, the better run through the curved straight here. Jack, almost a second off of Nemanja at the moment. Championship, very much looking like it could be wrapped up unless something significant changes here. A 1-4 at the moment for Polaris. And Jack in second with no teammates to help him out. on Simchris, switch for position in the meantime. Simchris must have been some kind of rough maneuver there because he drops a fair few positions. Now on a threat actually from Ben Hayes. And Ben down the inside, side by side, they're gonna go into the next corner. Simchris the outside, Ben to the inside. This battle for ninth is heating up, but it seems to pause for the moment. Simchris kind of sort of stopping himself just a little bit into that corner. Oh, Ben really sending it up on Mario Weigel, and that's a move if I've ever seen one so far, if he's able to hold it, but he's not, not really able to get the run after that. But great three-way action here between these three drivers. Mario defensive as anything. Oh, Chris 
with Christy coming in and just tapping Ben a tiny bit. Great stuff here for these lower positions. Absolutely loving this. A bad run through the first corner. Loses a lot of time on Popovic and Josh gains a lot of time on him. Jack going kind of deep there, missing the apex while Josh gets a really nice run through there. Josh starting to break away from Ali behind just a tiny bit. Fine, fine margins that the top group guys are playing with at the moment. The slightest of mistakes from any of them. And I can see the order really, really get shaken up at the top of the field. Meanwhile, this battle still kind of going on. Christy not far off Mario Weigel with a good run through the set of corners here. Weigel getting all wiggly on the exit and Christy gets the run. Not able to make anything of it, not quite close enough there into T4. Josh Brooks still very, very close to the back of Jack Levy, really keeping on pace with him here at Avenisto. Navigating these tight, tight corners. Now freeing the Coopers out onto the last curve of the circuit. a bit of time there to Josh through that corner. But Jack a lot stronger on the exit. Mario Vagel, Sim Chris switching for position. Christy taking that off of him. Mario Vagel losing more time. Whoa, Mario Vagel off the circuit. A bit stuck there, getting kind of caught up on the colliders in a weird, weird way, but just able to make it make it out, make it out of that one. Gonna go with this camera angle for a little bit with our man Josh. Ben Hayes hitting, uh, as a matter of fact, at the moment. Don't know why that would be, but he's in the pits. Mario Vagel promoted up to 10 after his misadventures in Ross. to be the one putting the pressure on Josh. Josh goes quite wide there and Ali really, you can see how much he gains on him. Lag moment there for Ali, not what you want to see. But, nonetheless, gaining on Brooks up ahead. Is that Nemanja I saw? Okay, no, it must have just been my imagination. I thought he'd like literally parked it on the fucking apex, but no, he's, um, he's still off and away a second ahead. So close still, I mean that like nine laps in, no more than a, a second, and, or like no more than just over a second between any of these guys. Jack actually starting to, for a second there, eating into the Magnus lead just a little bit. 
starting to see the compression of this group once again. Let's go with this on board for a little bit. Again, no tracks, no cameras. Unfortunately. Benet's DNF, unfortunately. Not sure what's happened there. Some sort of issue, God knows what, but he came into pits and he's out of the race now. Sorry, I'm being a bit quiet. There's just not a whole lot to talk about. Like, I'm not going to keep saying, oh, he's getting closer. He's getting further away. Whoa. Still top four, as it were. Since just about the start of this race, Citra with a error there. Not really sure what happened. But he's back in the pits, and that means he's lagged. Uh, he's out, and that's two DNFs. That's two out of 11 gone. That's like almost 20% of our field leaving the race, unfortunately. But Ali, very, very close to the back of Josh at the moment. I've been saying that for a while now, but he does seem a little bit closer. Using every inch of track and then some standard alley track limits usage. Tens. Actually, Jack is right on the back of the Mania at the moment. The Mania misses by quite a poor run. Perhaps a a run for the lead at the moment. Jack right on the back of the Mania at the moment. Going to follow him absolutely bumper to bumper through the last corner onto what I would barely call a straight. I'm looking for that wider line. Wants to try cut in, cut up, if you will. So close to the back of the Mania. They've never been this close at any point in the race so far. Jack, sure, just getting the rear end out a little bit, losing a tiny bit of time, but still so close. Then Mania, he tries for the move, tiniest bit of contact. This could bring Josh back into it. These two battling, we can see a three-way. But for the time being, Nemanja trying his hardest to fend off Jack. Jack now with 
the confidence now, just that bit closer, just in that window where you can actually start a toy with the leader and really mess with him. So close to the back, he's really starting to get held up by the Serbian. And try to get the better run onto the straight, these two. Really, really in the thick of it now, Jack with the run not really but with a little bit of slipstream following the manual all the way down the straight I need to check what the points are like or at least like how they all pan out but at the moment it could be actually pretty damn close between uh, Polaris and well, Jack Olivier or the MR Olivier's if Jack is able to make his way up into the lead. But these two still super, da super, super quick. A little clatter at the barrier there for Jack, but still 1.8 seconds, 1.7 or so ahead of third place. So these two in a bit of a league of their own for the time being. 14 laps of this race done, we've got four left to go. Try a late dive, Will Jack, but he's going to go deeper. He's going to potentially look for that cutback. This is kind of that time when you're just about close enough, you can start playing with the lines. You can start to look for the maneuver. This one talking about Avenista. He looked deep there because he knows that at this corner here, a good while away, he could then make a move. But nothing yet happening between these two. Jack getting closer and closer. Three laps left to go, including, I believe, this one we're on right now. after this one actually I suppose yeah but but off the lead very much the one the hot topic on the track here at the moment and yeah under so much pressure here at the moment we're gonna go with him as a pretty cool on board we can go for Jack going very, very, very deep, very close to the back of Nemanja right there, but backing off just a tiny bit. So, so close to some contact there. Jack going out on the grass, actually, there. But the battle still very much on. tiny bit now six tenths slightly wider berth he now has over the Frenchman With two laps left to go he's gonna be clinging on to that the best he can
of settled here at the moment. One more lap left to go. Battle for the lead. I think we're all changing at the moment. second now the gap Jack's gonna have to hope for something significant to happen to the man yet because otherwise it looks like he's on course to win this race final lap about to start here at Avenisto trying to speed away, really trying to get out of Jack's reach it. Jack got a very, very good lap, sub-19 as it stands. Will it be enough? Uh, I'm sorry. Lanya seems to Going to be the one to win this race as he comes round the final couple of corners to claim victory here in Avenisto race one. Jack goes quite deep and it looks like the challenge is over. Nemanja is going to come across the line and win. Josh just about 2.3 seconds off the back of them, not able to cling on for the entire race. Yeah, the yeah, Adam Jeff finishes fourth, followed by Togo Turbo in fifth. People sixth, coming across the line now. Lucas Boyshaw will follow him in seventh. Christy comes across the line in eighth, and Mario Weigel, a good while behind, is going to finish in. Ninth, two DNFs, one for Citra, one for Ben Hayes. There we go. So we're going to show you how today how to take a river racing screenshot. So let's find. So that yeah, this is looking really good. So you, you just you see you can see the angle here. We're really kind of getting all of the car in the frame. And this is a really good screenshot. I'm just going to take it right here. I think that's what I like to see. You can really accentuate the kind of core features of your racing car with this kind of screenshot method. I mean. You gotta be really careful. I mean, this method is only for professionals only. So, I'm just gonna take another one there. Really high quality stuff here, guys. So, I've been flipped upside down. That's not very fair. Not very nice, actually. We're gonna just get a really cool one of Togo's car. Looking very silly. Why did I say silly? this car. That's what I like to see. Now that is what an AF3 car should look like. Look at that. That's beauty. Look at that big old nose.
fucking epilepsy. Should we do the whole of race two like this? I think we should. Anyways, I'm gonna quit fucking around. Let's go and take you through our grid for today. For race two. Sim Chris it's gonna start from an eight car grid. As you do. Sim Chris starts on pole. I believe, I mean, unless uh, Mario Vagel comes back and starts ahead. Uh, well, let's provisionally say Mario Vagel is starting, I guess. He's not really there, so probably not. Alright, okay, let's see. Simcrest starts on pole, followed by Lucas Boyschel. Second, third is Vivos. Fourth on the grid is Togo Turbo. Fifth, we see Ali Yamcha starting ahead of Josh Brooks in sixth place. Jack Olivia starts seventh, while Nemanja brings up the back of the grid in eighth. This will be interesting for the championship, I think. <sighs> Sorry there about your lag, Bo Ben. Very unfortunate. All right, lights are the final race of the entire. Season 11. And away we go. Poor start for Christie off the line, but a great start there for Vivos already making designs on the lead of the race. Eight cars come down to T1. Vivos getting very, very wide on the rear there into the first corner, but maintaining the lead. The both the Polaris drivers now move to the back, but River, we see first and third for the time being. Through they all come. Jack Levy is still up against a wall of European torne uh, tornadoes, torpedo cars at the moment. But the two Polaris Motorsports drivers right at the back. This could be big for the championship. Crucial even. As Josh is about to potentially take P2 away from Christie. He goes deep and that's the move made. Josh Brooks moves up in second, but will Christie have something to say about that? Breaks earlier than Josh. And Josh may start to pull away Jack Olivier down in fifth for the time being. Togbatobo and Chris T in the middle of the two of them. The Povich moves up to sixth for the time being, but Lucas Boschel in between the two is going to be stopping progress for Ali in the meantime. Nemanja right on the back of Jack though. Rolls reversed well and truly. Lucas with a bad run though. Ali is gonna get the better run. And he looks at the inside already. You may not be able to make it work. You cannot go too wide here. And Lucas is going to hold him right up. He's almost a second off of his teammate due to that. And he bumps right into the back of Lucas. No collision there, but he's going to slow down and give him the place. Bebov falls down to third. Josh Brooks is in first, but Simchris is in second. I should say Christie. Jack Levy battling hard with the European Torpedoes team and he's got him past the both of them. Togba now behind Jack, but Jack sliding wide. Just about able to make the corner though. Nemanja's gonna follow Jack right through. Beavils all over the place for the time being. But Josh able to run away with the lead at the moment. I do wonder how to plan out for the championship. Could be quite interesting, so do stick around to see what happens with that. But Jack looking for the maneuver on Vivos looks up the inside that'll put him at the outside for the next corner but he's just got to hold it he's just got to be able to stick there but Vivos needs to be able to cut him off he's gonna have the inside for the next corner and Vivos goes very 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 deep gonna give the position maybe to Nemanja as well And he's gonna fend off to Popovich for the meantime. Oh, this is so, so close, but Popovich is gonna get held up. An absolute treat, that is not what he wants. Togo right on the back of the both of them. Is he gonna go for a signature Togo torpedo? 
I don't believe so. He's going to stick right behind them. No chaos today, but Vivo's drifting right across the front of Togo. But Togo's going to come straight through, and that's the two of them taken out. Just the slightest bit of contact, and that's Nemanja sliding off and in the background. Terrible, terrible news for Polaris Motorsports. That could be crucial for the championship right there. Togo's move, three wide, just a tiny bit of taps as Vivo's and Nemanja came back across them, and that could be crucial. That could be big. Lucas Bush will now in thick battle, thick, uh, <laughs> intense battle with Vivos, not helping Ali out one bit. This is a nightmare scenario. We've got Vivos in fifth, but Josh Brooks leading. This could be potentially exactly what River need for the championship. Christie still in second. Jack Olivier still in third. Bit of a tap there, getting very impatient there is Olivier. Really wants to get past Togwa in fourth now, not really able to challenge the pace of Jack, but with a bit of holding up from Christie. Christie go going to be making the move to River next season, but Jack just able to get up the inside. Will Christie have the better run though? Jack on the grass a little bit, and I believe Jack will have the inside. Does Christie know he's there? Is Christie gonna give him the room just about? He's gonna go a little bit wide. He's gonna get maybe held up on the gravel, but he does not lose any speed. Christie and Jack go side by side, but Jack is gonna have the much better run through the corner. Christy swaps. Oh, punts Jack in the rear. That's a hit right there. Target locked and engaged. That is a punt in the rear on Jack Levy. And Jack does not seem too phased by it. He continues on. But that's crucial. That is crucial what we have seen. Ali Adamcher, Nemanja Brovic currently at the back of the field. Vivos really needs to get a move on. Really needs to start putting in the work for his team and officially getting back into those positions. Needs to take advantage of the battling going up ahead and get back into that top three. Really, really push for that championship because the chance that they have been given here is something you can't pass up. Josh currently leads. Jack, 4.3 seconds. Josh with the pace. So close to pole position today. Has the pace to stay up there. Jack is just going to do whatever he can, really. Second and second, don't know if that'll be good enough, but it could be, it could be very interesting because with Polaris and the position they're in and Jack scoring very highly in race one, it could be Rip Maka that actually come through to win this championship. There is so much at play here. I can't even really make sense of it, may, not make head, head or tails of it. Haven't got a live championship either for any of you guys. Unfortunately, I'm sort of winging it, kind of looking at it from afar, but we're gonna see what happens once the dust settles. Yardamchuk and Popovic still at the very back. I really have to pee though. So I'm gonna go do that. While things are kinda calm for the moment. Be right back. I'm back and it seems ooh, a little bit of a, some changes there. Popovic up sixth. Crucial, crucial, crucial. For the championship, as always, as is everything in this race. Jack, 
Jack, Jack Olivier. <laughs> Fuck me. Very close to the back of Josh. Not very close, but closing up more than I thought he would, or quicker than I thought he would. Very, very quick last lap there for Jack. Closes in on British Waffles, as his nickname should be, with the Waffle Waffle Demic occurring in our server at the moment. So we're going to fire off the back of Christie. Could it be Christie's first podium? say unless he's had some other successes in the season it could be his first so getting about five six tenths on him throughout this last lap could be onto something Gonna be on to a move quite soon. Christy with a very interesting line there, swooping right in. And so good, just simply getting closer and closer. Over the crest they go. Hot pursuit of Christie engaged gap only down seven tenths now. Christie doing a good job despite the pace he's been showing so far, but it's Popovic in sixth looking hungry for a move. Direct implications for the championship here. This battle between River and Polaris on track. Physical stuff. The way through, and that's a tap right there. Lucas Boyshall and Ali Archer battling as well. We've got two, almost three battles going on at once in an A car race. Looks to the outside, people goes defensive, but if Nemanja is able to hold it, that's going to give him the inside. And he sure does have it, does have to slow down a decent bit, but he's going to hold it. Whoa, pushes v right to the edge, and that is fifth place there for v Ali Archer. In the meanwhile, another win, another W for Polaris. He moves up to seventh place. Crucial stuff here as Josh Brooks in the meanwhile retains the lead. V Wolf's not able to contribute too much at the moment. The bump there for Yard, which are not the cleanest of corners there, but V Wolf's still not going to let Nemanja go just yet. Still pretty close behind him, but it may be Popovic starts to pull away. Jack also in the meanwhile, not making many inroads on Josh. Pretty much they're matching each other at this point, lap time wise. And it may remain like that unless one of them makes a significant error.
hate turns and falling between these two as Chrissy makes a bit of a mistake there. Six cents now as they are coming right through the S's. Togo with some good momentum. Closer and closer to the back of the carbon grey car. better run through there, six tenths already. And so with the better braking, really closing up on Sim Chris at the moment. Three tenths now, only the gap, really, really making a good run through there. But so we're losing some of that as he drifts through. Christie also losing some time, clattering the wall. 11 laps into this race, seven more to go. stalemate at the moment, so we'll gain some, gets close, can't really do anything, as of now six laps left to go. Really, really close to the back of him now. Three tenths only. Christy eating up a lot of grass there on the inside of that corner. Christy goes deep. Togo almost like predicts it and uh, really gets the favorable line in regards in relation to that. Christy all over the place now. And Ben, you are right about that. Josh is doing a great job keeping where he is. 2.5 seconds and it hasn't changed the past couple of laps. Very, very consistent and methodical work there up at the front. Jack also pumping in some great laps, but they're just matching each other. So I've got a bit of a run, thinks about it, but knows nothing can really be done there. They fly through the second to last corner together, or third to last. This is a double corner according to the track guide. The both of them drift and Togo is brought right within almost touching distance of the rear bumper of Christie. Will this be the chance? He just needs to send it. Does Togo. Oh, Christie goes wide and onto the grass and that's the chance he needs. Togo makes the move, a little bit of a tapping there. That sends Christie maybe across the grass, but he's able to hold onto it. And that's third place for Togo, podium position, great move. Yeah, Ben, you can come in here. Hello, Ben. If you can even hear me. Either way, we've got Ben in the channel. I'm going to stream for him. Maybe we can get someone to take the load off me, commentary-wise. Ah, now I can... There you go. Can you see my stream as well? He broke up a bit, Ben, but, uh... uh um... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, there you go, Ben. Yeah, I had far oh, too much lag. Too much lag, yeah. That is a big shame, man, yeah. big shame. But I imagine, do you have a bit of fun on this track? Oh, well. oh, yeah, the track's great, and the car really does suit it, but, yeah, I, I didn't do much practice at all, but it was, it was good while it lasted. Indeed good bit of fun this track. I gave it a little go back in the Cayman season but nothing with this. And Josh, as you've said, still doing a stellar job up at the front. Two seconds now the gap, but at the rate that Jack's been fighting into him, 
Uh, looks like Josh might hold on to this one. I'd like to see him hold on to it, to be fair. He, he deserves a win. He's been, uh, he's really been doing well at this track. Very, very good in practice and almost, almost on the pole position timing poorly. Nothing between the top three or four, but may be able to bring that win to fruition as the gap actually extends a little bit between him and Jack up at the front. But the championship battle will be interesting to see uh, how it all pans out in the end. I'm definitely going to have to get Josh and... Whoa! Bit of lag there. That was crazy. The po 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 we just went straight into Togo for a second. Very, very oh. funny stuff. Yep. But this is not what the manual wants. The manual wants to be right up there. Josh. Spanish internet moment. Yep. Spanish or, or Serbian. Who knows? Maybe a combination. But internet broke. Um... Go into the final three laps of the yeah. race. I think there must be a delay. Oh no. Popovic and Toga basically matching each other that last lap. And Popovic getting closer and closer and closer to the back of Toga. Fourth place will be great here. Still not aware how stuff stands championship wise, but it could be crucial. If my internet is too potatoes, we even <laughs> go with this. Internet's being very potatoes, it seems, yeah. Yeah, it's so bad at the moment. Who are you with? Uh, BT, I think. I see, I see. I've heard they've been alright. Virgin were awful for us, we had to switch from them. Well, losing the name, really. <laughs> <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> well, it used to be like full fiber to my old house, but I've gone back into my dad's now and it's like full potato, copper wire. Ooh, Nemanja. Ooh, Nemanja with the run. Will he make it clean? Will it work? Oh, yeah. He, just exactly all he needs to happen happens. And Togwa just sends it a little bit wide, opens the door right up for Togwa, but it's not over yet. Togwa just, sorry, the Popovich just about taps the barrier and that gives Togwa the run side by side. They go towards the outside. Another tap and that is Popovich. Oh. Almost into the wall there, just about saves it. No love lost between these two. Good to speed. This is some fierce battling for P3. Popovich realizes the, the significance of this championship wise, and this could be just another step towards closing it out for Polaris. Yeah, he is not holding back today. He is most certainly not. But in the meanwhile, the gap now one second between Jack Olivia and Josh Brooks, and there you can see it. You can see how this gap looks now. It has really diminished. And that is Jack now really within striking distance. Ali Archer makes it up to sick. That is Vivo sound of place. Again, another move crucial for the championship. Things are going Polaris's way, despite Ali having little to no luck in this race. And Jack Olivia moves that little bit closer to Josh. Just under nine Don't do it, Jack. Everyone wants to see Josh win it. Don't do it. Yeah. Let him have a win. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to side with Ben. I was going to say, surely Jack's got enough here. Like. Yeah, he got a triple win in AF1. That never seen before, I don't think. Uh, double win last That's time meant. out, I believe. Uh, and the time before that, I think. In AF3. I don't know. It's not surprising. Surprising, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's never surprising. Jack wins. Surprising mm -hmm. if someone else does. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we're gonna get all of these protagonists in here to interview them after we're done. And then I'm off to a uni social with the Polish Society, so that should be fun. Damn. Yeah. What sort of stuff do they? They drink. Do they drink? What do yeah, they do? Yeah. Oh, um, well, we just go into a, a bar, so uh, a bar pub type place. So whatever they got there, but uh, many vodkas, I assume. I was gonna say, yeah, I was guessing spirits. Yeah, that's usually the Polish way. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a mix. I'm, I'm a weird one. The cider's not really big in Poland. But I bring, I, that, that's the part that I bring at least. But I like my spirits as well, I've got that, po <laughs> that Polish in me. 
Although, I'm going to get back to the action here. Jack fractionally faster than Joshua in that last lap. And we are on the final lap now of the race. Final lap of this championship. And we're going to see how it all pans out after this. Jack so, so close to the back of Josh. But will it be enough? Josh is going to have to make sure nothing goes wrong here in this final lap. Absolutely pinpoint accuracy. No, no cock-ups because there is nowhere to save it. Jack goes wide there, however. Josh giving a bit of breathing room. Back up to a second goes the gap. And Josh might just about have this. I mean, not able to win the championship in the drivers. Chance of winning in the teams, but closing it out with a win, that's got to feel good. Great trackside cameras, as you can see, Ben. <laughs> Absolutely fucked AI lines. But Josh, what is that? Yeah, I know. It's messed up. <laughs> that is crap. Yeah. But Josh comes around the last two corners here in Avenisto. And it's going to be a win for River. Yeah, well done, Josh. Well held. Around the final corner he comes and across the line. Josh Brooks wins race two and the final round of the AF3 season here at Avenisto. Jack Olivier, after putting pressure on him for the whole race comes across the line in second. We're going to see how that pans out championship-wise. Nemanja makes it up to third after, after a very, very pivotal moment, putting him in the, into last place. Oh, round the final corner. Is that Ali about to take the position off of Christy? Side by side of the line, and Christy takes it. That was not something I was anticipating, but there you go. Uh, seventh is V-Bulbs coming across the line, and Lucas Boyshaw rounds out the field. Well, that was really something. I mean, it could have been better. There were moments where it got boring, but all in all, awesome action from a lot of them. Did what they could with uh, 10. Oh, whoa, whoa. They are flying. Oh, my Lord. Where did they come from? <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, because you, because you can just fly off of here. There's no barrier there, so you can just go, yeah, straight, you can go straight, straight over the bridge. Yeah. Straight over the bridge. Uh, clever. Well, there you go. <laughs> Standard Polaris mode sports behavior. Yeah, that's what an advert for Polaris. <laughs> what an advert. Potentially have won the championship, and this is how they anticipate. I'm happy Josh won that. I think he deserved that. He really did. He really deserved that win. Well held from him for sure. Addy going for a bit of finish lake swimming. <laughs> Wonderful stuff. I'm going to try and get some lads in here. I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna go to the interviews bit. All right. I can't cheer for Josh too much, I'll get kicked out of Macca actually. Oh, I never said that. Delete the stream. Delete the stream. <laughs> I'm gonna get them all in here. Um Hello everyone, you're all being moved. Um Hello. I I don't know who to hear it from first. I guess Josh, the most recent winner of, of the last race. How was that? Uh holding off the challenge from, from Jack. If he's even here. Um, it got a bit scary about three or four laps to go, I think. I thought four seconds, like, eh, I might make that. And it got to sort of five laps to go. It was about a second and a half beyond, like, okay, is this going to happen or not? Um, yeah, I, I do get the feeling Jack could save his tyres better, or at least use worn tyres better. Um, yeah, it just got to the end. of like, can we just end this place? I'm hot. I just want this to be over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it feels way too fucking. I have my windows open. I'm in shorts and a wife beater. Damn, bro. <laughs> it's, <laughs> like, it's 12 Bye. degrees out. It's 12 degrees out. I have my windows open and I'm in summer, Damn. clothing wise. But... Because my bitch ass neighbors on top of me and like below me have their heating up to full and we have in floor heating, so all of it goes into our room. Okay, um, thank you for telling us about your heating situation. I want to hear, although, <laughs> no problem, um, Nemanja, what happened to you? It, there was an odd moment there which sent you to the back of the field. <laughs> uh, you, uh, Togwa, uh, and someone else. Yep. The yes, it didn't uh, always really ends work. Good. Always ends good. Yeah. yeah. Um, just seemed unfortunate that I'm not sure really what happened. I think Togwa was coming on the inside. Huh? Um, yeah, coming yeah. up the inside. Um, and you guys were a bit wide, came across, and it just led to both of you getting sent around. You and I think it was Christy, I believe? No, it was Vivos, I think. Oh, it was Vivos, yes, that was the one. But um, but coming back to third after that, it didn't it didn't look like it was possible for a bit, but how was that? How was the challenge coming back through the field? 
Well, you know, Paulie did his job and put in Lucas, so that was immediate. That's <laughs> true. That's true. I did wonder how that change of position happened. I, I actually went for a piss and I came back and it had all changed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, Paulie lost concentration well, but, and put in Lucas. But, Basically, in in like the straight right before the quick right hander in sector three, uh, I had overspeed on him and I had some slipstream, so I was ready to overtake. And then right as we were turning in, he teleported into me by one to two meters when I was already on his ass. Um... And then I I lost. I'm guessing it was a teleport anyway, because he says he he said he didn't change his inputs at all. Mm. And um, then that made me lose my concentration mm -hmm. when I was thinking about that, and I forgot my raking zone. A breaking point, and then it went straight into him, basically. That's a yikes, bro. There was a, there was a couple of, like lag moments I actually saw. I think it was... Uh, the server server lag also I happened see. once. Uh, there was Nemanja and Togba. I saw you guys yeah, yeah. had a moment. Yeah, yeah. that was scary. That was scary. It was, it was the server lag, not anyone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, That's what yeah. I was thinking. Because well, both, lag, cause both of yeah. you lagged, so I was like, I don't know who this was. <laughs> so it was a combination. Um, Do we know anything about the championship, though? Unless it yes, is... Well, unless... It was never in yeah, doubt, really. Sure. Sure. Well, we got, when we got eight or nine people ago. turning up. Mm. When we got I eight or think... nine people turning up, it was never going to be in doubt for Polaris. I see. Well, not really. It could have been in doubt if... It could have very much been in doubt if Jack won If he didn't races. turn up. If Jack won both races, no, because then we would need to get second and third in both races. Now, mm -mm. the gap ended up being for second and fourth, I think. Actually, 34. Oh. 34. Yeah, if I won both, 34. I have won. Oh, well, and another six back to us at River. Well, there you go. That's a win in the team championship. Oh, oh, for actually, hold on, a second. hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -oh. uh, it probably won't change the positions. It's got to add the drop damage. Oh. Wow, we just got second yeah. in the championship. Oh, well, actually. Yeah. Leapfrog, yes. Ooh. Jack had four track limits in race two. It reminded me to look. Ooh. Uh, really? And... Oh, hold on. Results might change. Hold on. Uh, Simchris... In race two, Simchris has five. Hmm. I'm watching this live. <laughs> uh, oh, Jack back. Has. Jack has. Oh, yeah, that means that Sim... Yay, I passed Simchris. <laughs> so... My mouse scroll that helps Polaris more. I it helped a single cut. No, in race two. Yeah, yeah, Synchrus was behind you anyway. Oh, really? We were very close at the line. Alley five. Uh, <laughs> holy shit. One thousandth. Yeah, we were very close at the yeah, line. Yeah, that was there. a very close Wow, finish. okay. I didn't even notice that until I looked at the five seconds. This is one thousand in Ali's favor. Wow, one thousand. That happened last race as well. I was, that was 0 0.07 last race. Actually, no, sorry, that was AF1. So, well, technically, my the last race I did, but yeah. I don't Got remember it. who it was, but it was very close again. I need to check race one now as well. Uh, but it should be okay. Oof. I had five cuts, but only one cut lap. Yeah. And... I just went off and fucked up. And that's on that. The others. All done. All right. So, in the end, it's River five points off of Mecca. Hey. Very close one. Well, there you go. That's just about it, I think, for AF3. Well, I got season. second in the championship. Come on! Yeah. Yay! Good. Matty said so. Good stuff. By three. Good stuff. Um, yeah, I took an F for that, Josh. I don't think I got... I don't think I've had second for a while. I think you had last season, Josh. I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah, you were, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's not... Yeah, it's not joining well. helps as well. But <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, fine. I forgot I got season 10 second place. Yeah, I, th I thought you did, yeah. Like, you, you got like 90 point. points in the last four races, so that made, made you get a big jump. All right, I gotta. Tell me the, tell me the second time I finished second, actually. All right, I gotta head. I gotta head out, so I'm gonna wrap up the stream and let you guys chat. Um, reminder again: tomorrow up. we have a, the return of AF4. This time with the Tatus T014. Decent car, some cool tracks on that calendar. TT Assen North tomorrow. Be sure to go attend that. We've got 15 tentatives and 12, well, 19 checked in. That's a lot of damn tentatives. Uh, but do try join that race. Should be great fun. Uh, we have also on Sunday AF1. Uh, we're going to be at the Nurburgring Sprint. Should be good fun. Norris Ring was a cool race last time out. And Nurburgring should be no different. Um, 
besides that, if I think F3 signups are still open and stuff, get in on the new season with the Caymans again. Cool can they're also lined up for that. So yeah, that's just about it. And I'll end the stream there. Thank you all for watching and see you again soon.